Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I got Damon trapped up outdoors. What's up, guys? Can't see because I got so much dust on my camera. <laughs> um, we're cold. We're about. We're in that deep freeze now. This is the time of year we we normally would start ice fishing, and then we're about to get that kind of weather. Uh, everything's frozen. Even where the beaver's been going in and out, I can walk on it now. So we ain't gonna. These traps will be out of commission for a while, but we're just gonna leave it right there. It ain't going nowhere. Maybe catch a coyote on that beaver snare right back there. If we do, he's a demon. So we're gonna go see what we got. It's uh, got an ax, cause we're gonna need it. So let's stay tuned, let's see. You can see the bottom right here. You can walk out there and it's hard, it's thicker. That's where I've been walking. Hey, you didn't care about me falling through. Where? That one place this morning. This one's not gonna be, if it's still set, it's frozen in. Uh-oh. Did we get him? It was frozen in when I last was here. I broke it and let it out. It might have set off though. No, it was literally right here, frozen in, but I... I think it's right here. Could be a mink or a muskrat, set it off. Yeah. <laughs> we got somebody. Switching the switching gloves. We we came in and that one was frozen down last time, guys. We broke the ice and look what happened. So I'm gonna give you the Damon. No, well, we can't pull this out because it's frozen in the ground. It's permanent. Get nine percent battery. Huh? Nine percent battery. What the hell? I sure hope the other ones. Oh. He was heading out, it was still frozen. Little guy. <laughs> Did I put the dead battery in and left the charged one? We'll oh. find out. We'll find out. We might not have enough film. But hey, look at that. Uh, not to promote Bull Isles, but that would have probably. That Bull Isles what got that trap. Or that beaver caught him, held onto his tail. Because it's only his tail. I say to you, I want five beaver. Yep. That's a good start. Beaver number one. <laughs> That's a good start. Where I didn't expect to get one because I thought it would have been frozen in. It's just a little guy, but they get big. Oh, and yeah. they gotta make sure he doesn't freeze to anything. There we go. We're good now. Okay. We're gonna put the trap back just because uh, I'll try to put it out a little deeper. Maybe it'll. It'll be good. Now, is this hole going back up through here? Is it? It cuts that, that way. It does. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a high bank bin. That one there, because the water level is dropped. Yeah. They, the beavers plugged the tubes, got the water high, and then the landowner come in and dug. You can see that he dug. People ask me which hole. Why I always use the first hole, and it's just whatever one it lands on. Yeah, I was trying to describe that the other day. I was like, I don't even know what you really call these. I call them just holes. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go like this. It's a little bit deeper there. Try not to get snapped 
here. This is less than ideal. I'm gonna go all the way out here. Yeah, because that bitch is gonna freeze tonight. It's gonna freeze a lot, but <clears throat> maybe we'll get one before yep. it freezes. I'm just gonna put one stick in it. There's a chance this trap will just be frozen solid here for the next few checks, but one reason I don't like blue eyes. There's this gap right here. Not yep. big enough to put a swivel stick or whatever. Yeah. There we go. That's all we're gonna do. We'll come back for this guy. I just wanna make sure he doesn't freeze down. He's good now. We'll roll some stuff. Oh, there's a beaver tail right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were looking at it the I whole time. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Guys, my hands are cold. It's cold what out. What is it? It's like five degrees and it feels like negative 13 last I saw. We got one, boys, here. Snake's number 22. Only keeping track and saying it it's repetitively because the homeowner actually watches. So. this open. I don't know why you never put your coat on the inside. Uh, because then I'm <laughs> this big. <laughs> gotcha. I wear it just like this. It's a... you seen this trap, didn't you? I'm sure I have. You said big trap. Ready? Yep. Big reveal. We're rolling? We're rolling. The big reveal? Oh yeah, look at that guy. Six. <laughs> Thumbnail. All right, shut it off. You rolling? Yep. Well guys, we're having technical difficulties with batteries. Apparently mine didn't charge or they've just been going dead in my pocket. It's hard telling. But we're gonna grab this guy out and I'm gonna show you the, I wanna at least show you the, the remake. We should catch another one. I mean, obviously it froze, but it is very cold. I got ice building up on everything. This is, I don't know. Was I, I don't think I was beaver trapping last time it was this cold. So this is going to be the coldest I've trapped in for beaver this season. And it's not awesome. I like to be able to walk on the ice, but I don't like everything being cold. Right there. It's a big trap. <laughs> it's a big, big trap. What's the measurements in it again? You remember? It's two 330s. Yeah, that's right. So, 22 by or something like that. I don't know. Huge the, by huge. I don't know the measurements <laughs> exactly off the top of my head. But there was my <coughs> swivel stick. But I, it's so big that I just set it down in the water. So, Pull these up. You're freezing. <laughs> it's not fun. So it happens easy, remember? Yeah. Lazy. Only lazy people <laughs> trap. Right there. It's right back on the bottom here, under this tree. smell it. Look at all these nice sticks, dude. <laughs> yeah, those are hard nice ones. <laughs> You'll never get that. I know. That's why I was like, everybody's like, God, look at that guy that's in love with the sticks. You know how much work we had to do with 3.30 to find a stick? <laughs> all right, let's roll on out here. <sighs> Something right there? Yeah, there's fur right there, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. Huh. Unfortunately. 
God. <laughs> well, that's it for this area. We got it. Well, there's my three. Need two more. Two more. Just getting started. I know. <laughs> two more. I said I wanted five. I had some people message me and go, man, there's a lot of beaver sign there. Like, yeah. I set some spots. I should have at least five more. So, just like that. I'm gonna go out here a little farther. Yeah. 23. I think this, and this is probably beaver number three just from this one spot right here. And one muskrat. Oh, this one set right here? Yeah. Nice. The most I've caught in the one spot was, I think, five. And that's where I caught my biggest and my smallest, actually. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Getting the little ones now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. There's there's a lot of them. I think there's a lot of families here. Watch that. I got your waiter there on the spring. <laughs> You want me to? I gotta, I gotta definitely give me a different pair of gauntlets. Yeah, those I have those uh, ones that are I like quite a bit when I'm doing this kind of crap, but they suck for drowning sets. Well, I have time in between to put my hands in my pockets. It's yeah. different, but they've been out since we started. Yep. And I'm really starting wishing this trap was back in the water, and I was get these gloves off. Hey, don't let me forget that. Other beaver over there. Well, sure glad your batteries are good for now. <laughs> yeah, I think I got two or three more left, so. Let's get this back in. There's a good chance he'll snap, so you gotta be careful. We got all this ice in here. We're gonna go farther away than we were. Hopefully. I'd say we're gonna get a solid three inches of ice in the next couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely be ice fishing and you'll be in Minnesota. This will be that's about as good as I'm gonna get her. It's not deep here. Today I don't feel like moving any farther out. <laughs> I don't think I don't even know if I get deep enough. So you can see the bottom. Yeah, you can see it at the bottom over there. So this is going to be, hopefully there's a beaver in there and he's hungry and he can tell that I opened it up. Or, we still could get a mink in that 330. And that would be the highlight of this whole operation. <laughs> Come to the next one. <laughs> it's fucking cold out here. <laughs> What's up guys? While well, I got Damon with me, I wanted to show you how high up these chewings are. Like they... They either climb out here and cut this stuff off. I mean, you can't get perspective when I'm filming by myself. How high they're cutting. But chewing's way up here. This guy's six five. By the way. way up here. Yeah. They have to be pulling themselves up. It's like they have one of their buddies like on the end on of that thing just pulling it down. <laughs> Why would you even try notching it there like that? Yeah. I think they're working on it down there too. A lot of, a lot of weird trimming. That's crazy. Put that guy, that giant tree down. I'm barely cutting them off it. They could have limbed that right into the water and they didn't. I mean, it's been down for quite a while. Yep. I don't understand. Well guys, we got three beaver. My best spots didn't produce, so I'm disappointed. But like I say before, uh, the best spots usually don't produce. It's uh, it's the ones that you th you second guess that always catch your critters. It seems like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.